Julia Childs once said, no one is born a great cook, one learns by doing. And I think she was right. Hi, I'm Carlin. And I'm Mitch. And welcome to our healthy vlog lifestyle, where I've lost over 70 pounds. Mitch has lost quite a bit, over 35. 30, 35, something like that. And today we're going to talk about how our cooking has changed since we've started this journey. We'll start by showing you a few clips right here of what our cooking used to look like and it was delicious. I still like some of the food in these pictures. I've just learned that I can't have it because I'm allergic to it. It makes me blow up and swell a lot. And for the last several years, we would cook all the time, but we would cook the same things over and over again. And we had our staples. Um, lasagna yeah lasagna spaghetti uh steak and potatoes which mm -hmm. is delicious yeah that's but not at the quantity that we were yeah. having them um but yeah since uh, we hired this nutritionist in may like our uh we've broadened our horizons as far as what we cook yeah. a seven month focus of learning how to cook and it's pretty phenomenal and making things from scratch like veggie rolls that we did this week. Here's a picture. Yeah, they're not the prettiest, but they have things in them that I would never have thought of cooking with before, like mint leaves. That seems luxurious to me. And just even how do you chop your veggies to put them in the roll? We're learning, we're doing this. It's pretty cool. Things that I would only consider ordering from a restaurant or a store, we're learning how to cook. Like we the, made Vietnamese soup yeah, just, just last week. Here's a picture. And again, like I'm still working on the presentation now, but we're learning how to cook. Yeah. And that is the flavors there. That's really cool. Thing is, is that sometimes we get so stuck in our head that we don't want to try and learn how to cook something new. It seems too hard. But sometimes that uncomfortable position is exactly what you do need to work on. I had no idea that we needed to learn how to cook. Like Mitch said, we had our staples in our household and we thought we were being healthy. But then when we hired the nutritionist, we had to step out of our comfort zone. And that's where the nutrition really came was when we had to leave our comfort zone, try things that we thought we hated, like cilantro. Who knew you could fill up on vegetables? Yeah. Not me. Now we do. And <laughs> if we wouldn't have stepped out of our comfort zone, we wouldn't have known this. And it wouldn't have been as easy or, and I'm not saying the weight loss is easy because it is not. Holy smokes, it is not. But you could learn new things and enjoy the journey as you go along learning how to cook new things. Before we close off this vlog, here's a few things. Uh, clips of what we've been up to, what's been going through our mind. And speaking of what's going on through our mind, I had a horrible dream last night. I was so angry in my dream. I was yelling at people. I was flipping out, literally. And I woke up feeling like, holy smokes, there is something wrong internally with me. So I guess my question is, how much how much do you put into your dreams and i don't know much about dreams i've been googling all morning about what could this dream mean why am i having it am i super stressed am i going and it goes from extremes understanding this dream it means like oh positive change is coming or i'm having a nervous breakdown it could be either one and i don't know i thought i was doing quite well managing stress felt happy and then I had this dream last night where I was furious. I was yelling at people. My goodness, I don't know what was going on. But I am curious. Let us know in the comments down below. How much do you read into dreams? Are they a message from the universe? Are they a message from your inner self that you're stressed and going to have a nervous breakdown? I sure hope not. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a beautiful sunrise, and I'm out for a walk to catch it. How lucky am I? 
What a perfect start to the day. Well over six kilometers and that's just the start. It is only 9 a.m. and I feel energized. Time to get moving after a tough week last week, feeling busy and physically not as productive as normal. I can tell there's been a shift, like an elastic band stretched. I'm bouncing back. Here we go. It's pretty awesome to be getting out, getting a 5K walk in today, even though it's a little cold. Mm -hmm. Minus nine. She was clever and brought gloves. Yes, necessary. Nummy. I've got a couple layers on too. I've got pockets. My forehead's cold. Mine's warm. Just heading out for a walk with a friend. It's got a little bit of a icy rain going on. So it's still nice to get some steps in. Did you have anything else to add, Mitch? No, I don't think so. All right, well, on that note, take care, brush your hair. And we'll see you on Thursday. Oh, oh yeah. yeah.